First up is Yakuza 0. This is a game which definitely takes some inspiration from Shenmue, but in my opinion improves on it in every way. The combat is better, the story is far better, there even are some really, really funny side missions that you can do as well. The game itself took me around about 80 hours to finish, but at no point did I feel bored. It's a great introduction to the series if you've not played it before, and it gives you backstory to the main characters before you go into the rest of the series. Also, it is available on Game Pass as well, so if you already have Game Pass, you can play the full Yakuza series on there. Next up is the Takeover. This is a side-scrolling beat-em-up, and it very much is one of the best sort of alternatives to, say, one of my favourites, which is Streets of Rage 2. It's, yeah, it's really good. It's, I was amazed at how uh, fluid the combat is, and also the music is really solid as well, so definitely worth checking out. Next up is a bit of an older title. It's a title I've mentioned probably a few times on Twitter, actually, and it's Fighter's Destiny on the N64. This is a one-on-one -on -one fighting game, but it's a little bit different than the usual fighting games like Street Fighter or Mortal Kombat. It is a points-based fighting game, so you get points for different types of uh, takedowns for example or knockouts so you can get like one point for knocking them out of the ring or you can maybe get three points for like using a special move attack or something like that or possibly different points for like a counter attack or even a grapple attack so there's a lot of variety that can be had in the matches and it's yeah just an alternative fight fighting game that I think is quite fun also is a indie game called Rumbo First Blood. This is a game that I came across randomly on an eShop sale a while ago, and it is about a Rumbo, you know, those little robot vacuums, and it basically is defending its home from burglars. Yes, it sounds ridiculous, but it's genuinely quite fun, and there is a sort of strategy element to it as you try and take out the burglars by using traps, almost like Home Alone if you remember that, using traps and different uh, like electrical powers and stuff like that and yeah it's just a really quirky title that I don't really think many people have heard of. Last one is another indie title and this is one which took me quite a while to complete and it's Death Road to Canada. This is a basically a zombie survival game um, where you can have up to three different companions with you and you've got to survive a set number of days and get to Canada basically. You've got to escape America, go through all these different scenarios and situations which can change on each playthrough that you have which gives it a bit of replayability if you do manage to finish it but like I say you will probably die quite a few times before you get that perfect run so it has that addictive one more go sort of feel to it. 